All right, hey Leo. So you guys, I am doing a ghosted read to kick off July. And you guys are going to know this is your read by the intro. So your energy and the energy that sits between you and this person on your mind. And if that doesn't resonate, you guys check your other placements, okay? And if you're new, you guys, I would appreciate a subscribe if you like my energy. Um, we're doing a 30 to 45 day intention or shift. So we're going to see what happens in the next 40, 30 to 45 days, you guys. Um, we're going to use different decks this time to get some more clarity on what's happening here. And we're just going to start this read off with your energy, Leo. All right. So the energy you are sitting in right now, Leo. All right. We have the three of coins coming through with the seven of swords and the page of swords. So I feel like you're just really wanting to know what's happening with this person. Um, I can't say it's the best energy I've seen with the seven of swords. I, I just really dislike that card. Um, and it's not that it's your energy. I really feel like it's more about what's happened to you and what's been done to you. This is a ghosted read, right? So somebody took their energy away um, without no, 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 no help, goodbye. No, what, you know, what, what, this is what you did. This is what I didn't do. You know, I just feel like there's no excuse. There is no, you know, it's a closed door. Um, on these reads I've been doing, I have seen a couple of Zodiacs um, that kind of maybe instigated the ghosting. Um by lack of, uh, you know, reciprocity, by just a lack of enthusiasm for the connection. So um, therefore making the person want to withdraw their energy, lack of effort. But what I see here is more about the seven of swords kind of happening to you. I feel like, hey, everything was going nice. We were building, you know, from the from the friendship level up or whatever it was, typically when we have a ghosting, it's like the situation never got too serious. However, I, another Zodiac did turn out to where I did kind of see that it was a, a, a little bit more serious. But what I see here is something that was building quite nicely because the three of coins is something that develops off of a friendship and then has the potential to bloom all right, into something more. But I really feel like you're just in this energy of the stolen heart card. Somebody took their energy away. Um, and the Page of Swords, you know, um, it's a hopeful new beginning, however delayed it might become. This is also you kind of spying on this person. So you could be trying to check, some, you know, social media. Um, it could just be that you're drawn to tarot readings just to kind of see what the outcome is going to be. All right. Um, which I really feel is is healing. All right. You have the Seven of Pentacles. And I feel like that is a card that would suggest healing. So let's just see what the energy bond was between you and this person. The energy between you and this person. We got sex, 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 sex. All right. And the reason why I'm saying that is because this is one of the sex cards. Um, it's one of the um, passion cards. It's one of the let's come together and make noise and happiness. You got the Ace of Cups coming through, which is um, new beginnings, you guys. And then we have the Sun card. So it's like everything was moving in, in a really good flow. It was moving in a really good direction, right? You got new love coming through. You got happiness. You guys could have met at a bar. You could have met out and, you know, out and about. You know, this is just fun times. And I really feel like the Sun card is just there to instill um, that growth and, and to back that growth and happiness up. But then here we have the Hermit card. Boom. I almost feel like somebody just starts to kind of withdraw their energy. Um, and what I kind of see for you, Leo, is that if this person was withdrawing energy, I feel like you were withdrawing your energy too. And I feel like the page of swords is more based off of curiosities, not so much that you're reaching out to this person. You know, um, I really feel like for whoever is here, you're not really the type to chase after this person. If they start withdrawing their energy, if anything, I feel like you, you're going to mock or mirror what this person's doing because, um, I just, I don't know. I've never really seen, um, Leo energy be anyone to chase after somebody if you feel like they're slipping away it's on them right so that's what I kind of see um you guys coming together starting something fresh and new um it, it's like boom it's almost it, it's like goes from from day to night you know I just feel like there was probably a shift and if there was a um trickling out you know if there was a, a small withdrawal of energy it's like there was just no um, there was no communication to kind of bring it back together. That's just kind of what I feel. So let's just see who we're talking about. Who is this person? Their energy. All right. So we got the four of wands. We got the four of wands, which is Aries. You got Pisces coming through with the high priestess. She does flop in reverse and we have the lover's card. So I kind of feel like what's happening here is this person, as far as their energy, um, I feel like with the high priestess card coming in reverse, obviously that's going to be somebody that has secrets. Okay. 
Um, the secret could be that there is another person and the lovers could be coming out as a choice. However, I will pull to see what the reason for ghosting is a little bit later. But just what I'm kind of determining off this person's energy is they are withholding something. Okay. We have the four of wands, which indicates unity, union, marriage, celebration, and happiness. And I would hate for this to be an optional situation here, that, especially if you don't know about it. Okay. Um, but this person's definitely holding something from you. Um, and it could honestly be that this person, um, might be, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I just, it makes me want to crack into this read and just get to the point. Um, because I almost feel like there's a choice or an option coming through and this person could potentially be married or in a relationship already. Let's just see how they feel about you. You got Aries, Pisces, Gemini coming through with that energy. So let's, let's, I want to see how they feel about you first. Okay, so we have the full card coming through with the Ace of Pentacles and the Magician. Okay, so don't don't jump to the worst case scenario, you guys. Um, maybe they're not married. Maybe they don't have anybody. Okay, but if the secret behavior is there, it's if it's not because they have somebody else and there's not a choice. Uh, the reason why I'm changing my tune-up is because we have the Magician card. There's a whole lot of deep love coming through. And people will run away from that when they get scared of commitment, when they get scared of new beginnings, when they get scared that the future is flashing before their eyes. That's what I see with this, okay? How they feel about you is there, so they look at this as a deep soul level connection, first of all. It don't matter what they got going on in the background. They do look at this um, as something deep and meaningful to them, Okay. Um, you, when you take the magician card and the, the ace of pentacles and the fool, the, I do feel like this person is trying to change how they have perceived relationships. Um, I do feel like this person is almost running away because of how deep the connection is. So if you feel like when you see this person, you know, you get the, you, you could turn into a puddle or just melt into a puddle on the floor. You know, if they give you just the, the goosebumps, you know, in a good way. Um, I really feel like you guys, that the, the person that you're dealing with also gets that. And it could be too intense for this person. And I can resonate with that energy because when I met my, uh, uh, this person that I feel like I'm on this journey with, um, I, that's how it was for me. I just felt like I could melt into the floor. And um, even two years later, uh, if I see him, you know, it's almost like, oh my God, like it's still from the first day that I seen you or met you. Um, those feelings of sickness, the sickness in a good way, um, over consume my body, you guys. Um, I feel like you could be scary for this person. So let's just see what their intentions are. Their intentions. Yeah. You got the, the devil runneth over them. Okay. So this person's definitely scared. So their ego is taking on, um, or taking control. Okay. Of, of this this situation so in the beginning you guys could have just had something that was formulating or based on sex um that you guys could have had sex once and, and then this person dipped out but it doesn't mean it wasn't amazing okay i don't judge i don't care what you guys do you're grown you should be able to do whatever you want um but it's almost like if you guys had only been together physically a couple of times this person definitely thinks about it and i feel like they think about it a lot all right, they haven't been able to shake you or the energy. We have the Page of Pentacles um, coming through, which is basically saying I've made a lot of mistakes in my past and I don't want another rendition of those mistakes, you know? I really feel like this person is thinking about the negative aspects when it comes to relationships. Um, and I do feel like they're a little bit afraid of, of repeating patterns, you know? Um, and that could be one reason why they don't jump on it. They don't jump forward. Um, we have the Ten of Pentacles coming through. And I feel like this person looks at the situation as, oh, I really feel like I could do this different. I feel like this could be something that, w that is done different this time. But it's almost like they don't have enough encouragement or faith in themselves to actually get it to that point. And it doesn't mean that it won't come to that point, you guys. But I really feel like they've had past mistakes that they haven't let go of. It's almost like this person right here, as far as their intentions, it's easier to keep it light and fun and not get too deep. But I really feel like the connection, what happened with you guys is they probably stepped into the puddle too far and oops, here's my feelings coming through. All right. So let's just see. Why did this person ghost you, Leo? Why did they ghost Leo? Oh yeah. Okay. All right. So here's what we got. 
And this could be one or all of the situations for this person. So just keep this in mind. Okay, so backing up to where I kind of felt like there was some uh, maybe choice or option. Um, I, I'm not seeing that. And in this deck, we do have those cards and none of them dropped. So I don't feel like it's anything other than this person's ego. All right, so we have healthy boundaries. So if you guys were kind of talking, if you guys were kind of giving this person time and attention, and, the, and at first they entertained it, at first they seem to like it, it's almost like the attachment factor is coming through and it's like they're getting scared. So healthy boundaries is like kicking into this person's mind. All right. And I kind of feel like there could have been that trickling out of energy where it's not my intention wasn't to like cut you off. Okay. But I got to put up some sort of a, a boundary, um, especially if this person feels like they're getting um, um, the, the potential of heartbreak come through, you know, it's almost like this person is, is, is scared and what they feel is healthy boundaries could be just miscon misconstrued as you're fading away. What the heck happened? All right. We have healing old wounds coming through. So processing out old behaviors and patterns, and we have financial loss coming through too. Um, and it could be too that that 10 of pentacles is coming through saying I, before I can get to this, you know, as far as intentions, how this 10 of coins dropped, it could be too that this person's pulling back their energy because they do have some healing that they have to do on all scales, especially the financial scale. Um, if they lost stuff, if they went through a divorce or a breakup and they lost a whole bunch, you know, it's almost like they got a, a completely heal and challenge themselves to get into a position where they can take on a relationship. Um, if this person has told you they're not in a position, um, you know, that they're dealing with a lot right now, there's a lot that this person is dealing with. And I feel like it's emotional. It's, you know, mental, it's physical. Um, I really feel like this person is potentially not lying. Um, but it could be too, that they're putting up, uh, the, the challenge that they're putting up for themselves is, is like, it's almost like, so what, you're not seeing nobody at all? You know, why are you even dating? Why are you even going out? You know, it's almost like this thing where if you have to fix yourself this much, then why are you even putting yourself out there is really what I'm kind of seeing with that. Um, the intention I did set with this uh, read, you guys, is definitely it's going to come back around, but we're going to see what the shift is in just a minute. Let's just see what they want to tell you. What do they want to tell you? Yeah, look at that. I bury myself in work to forget you. Financial loss. Um, that's not healthy. I am waiting patiently. It's like, I, I yeah, this person is like working to get stuff going for themselves again. Um, but it's like, are you waiting patiently? You speak to me through music. So if you guys met again through any sort of celebration, you got a song going on. Um, I really feel like you guys are deeply connected, but I feel like this person does kind of operate off of fear. Um, that's just going to be up to you guys where you want this connection to go. So let's see what the shift is, is in the next 30 to 45 days. The shift. <laughs> the shift. Okay, so we have ghosted and secret admirer. All right, so I almost feel like the secret admirer coming through is you guys might, the potential mirroring, the page of swords, you know, how, how that was your energy. I'm going to clarify ghosted and see what the shift is with that. So let's just see with ghosted, what is the shift? Oh, you got the return coming through. All right, so we have the six of cups coming through and that's the return of the past, you guys. You have the four of pentacles and you got the nine of wands. So what I feel is happening with ghosted, okay, potentially you could have two situations that come back around. This ghoster is going to come back around and you might have your walls up because there might be somebody else coming through for you. Let's just see what that secret admirer is. The secret admirer, you got a Gemini coming through. All right, you got somebody that's determined to, to come through here. I almost feel like you guys are dealing with two situations. So you got somebody coming through as a secret admirer through this Gemini card. And then remember at the beginning, what we have? We had Gemini through the lovers. We had, oh, I, don't, I can't remember. Um, you guys might have to go back, but it might, you might be dealing with two different scenarios. Uh, and I almost feel like somebody is really bound and determined to come through here. Somebody at a distance in this King of Swords energy. So, um... What I'm kind of seeing with the ghosted situation is you guys might not be, you might not be willing to accept that person back right away. You might want to see what this connection is. All right, but I can't tell you what to do because we have free will. What I'm going to say here is the person that ghosted is definitely coming back through that six of cups, but you might want to protect your heart space 
especially if they come back with this um, energy where it just really feels irrelevant. Um, and like, if you have to work to communicate, you know what I mean? Um, and then it might just be that you allow this other um, situation to come back through to check that out. You know, if somebody's not ready for you, then are you going to wait or are you going to move forward? All right. That's questions that you got to answer yourself. So let's see what your advice is. Your advice. That's uh, definitely a, a different twist. I didn't expect that. Um, all right. So your advice, you got, you, you guys have a new situation coming through. The Ace of Cups, it could be somebody that you work with or work around. You got the King of Wands coming through. It could be somebody um, that potentially owns their own business. You could have a Scorpio, Sagittarius, or Gemini coming through you guys as new, a new situation. Um, and I really feel like the pattern could be around work. It doesn't have to be directly at work. It could be around your work. It could be um, somebody that comes through your work as a vendor, you know. Um, I just really feel like you have a new dynamic here. So um, don't get completely bent out of shape for this one situation when you got, I kind of feel like a few people that are waiting, waiting for the door to open, waiting for the door to Leo's heart to open. I'm going to pull a few extra initials, you guys, because I feel like you got several um, opportunities to come through. All right. So initials, you got IY, you got DK. Q, V, and we got A. All right, Leo, I'm leaving it there. You guys take care.